And welcome to the Tuesday, December 14th meeting of the Finance Committee of the Fitchburg City Council. I now call this meeting to order. Please be advised that FATV is conducting audio and video recording for public broadcast. I ask that anyone in the audience who is also recording this meeting to please stand and identify yourself by stating your name and address for the record. Seeing none, uh, we have public forum. If there is anyone in the audience or uh, on Zoom who wishes to address the commission, they may do so at this time. We have not received any Zoom registrations for public comment. Uh, you may speak to any item on the agenda for not more than two minutes. Please stand and state your name and address and the item on which you wish to speak. Seeing none, we'll proceed into the agenda. Um, first item, 20821, an order that there be and hereby is appropriated the sum of $16,750, same to be charged against available funds and credited to health expense, weights and measures charges for the purpose of covering expenses associated with the annual testing and sealing of commercial weighing and measuring devices. Director Curry. Good evening, councillors. Uh, councillors, this is an FY21 item. Um, it is... Uh, um, an error, error on my part, I did receive an email uh, from the State uh, Division of Standards. Uh, it was a very busy email and I missed the invoice in it, therefore it did not get paid for last year. Uh, and as it, as it states, uh, weights and measures is a uh, mandated uh, service that the uh, state does conduct for us on a contact, on contract basis. Uh, and there's about 100, uh, 120 facilities that are inspected as part of that uh, mandate. Councillor Brochman. So you're saying to us that you overlooked it, you missed it because of the COVID and that? That is correct. Uh, I will tell you that the uh, state is still conducting the service uh, until we fill the position uh, that was posted. Um, so there will likely be an FY22, most likely a uh, half a year uh, invoice for their services up and from July until now. Now, how long have we been without a person? How long? I will never have been without. Never been without. Uh, the state has covered the service um, happily, uh, but they are starting to um, wish they did not have to come out here. Um, so the position was posted last month. Uh, we have about five candidates and we will be interviewing very shortly. Okay, all right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second to approve. If there is no objection, we'll take this by unanimous consent. Seeing none, it is uh, recommended for adoption. Thank you, Council. Second item, 20921, an order that there be and hereby is appropriated the sum of $31,320, same to be charged against available funds and credited to Library Trust Fund, Wallace Fund. Hello, so this was an elevator repair that was required by the state from 2006. And there was no money in the city budget at the time. The trustees agreed to loan the money to the city and it would be reimbursed and then things happened and it got sort of overlooked. So we thought it was time to recover that money to go back into the Wallace Fund. And this will zero it out? Yes. Okay, Councilor Brochman. Is there any reason why out of the goodness of the library's heart you could have said, we should just forget about? Because it was really a city's responsibility to pay for that. And the money does go back into the trust fund to, to be used for other library business. All right. Make a motion, we accept. Second. Motion and second to accept. If there is no objection, we'll take this by unanimous consent. Thank you. Seeing no objection, it is recommended for adoption. Next up, we have 21021, an order that the city of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the MEMA Emergency Management Performance Grant in the approximate amount of $20,150 for the purpose of said grant, which is to purchase four imaging cameras, including battery and charging systems. Thank you, councillors. Thank you for your time. Uh, Dante Suarez, Chief of uh, Fitchburg Fire. 
Uh, this grant was written by members of the Fitchburg Fire Department and the purpose is to purchase four uh, thermal imaging cameras. Uh, these cameras are critical um, to fire operations. We use them for things such as search and rescue, um, find concealed fire in, in walls, overheated wiring. Um, we've even used them during rescue operations at night um, in wooded areas. Um, this grant does require that we order it, receive and pay for the cameras before we were reimbursed by BEMA. Um, that's the only stipulation. Um, the total price is $20,150. Um, I'll answer any questions, if anybody has any. Any questions? You have can't, oh, sorry, Chair. We have cameras right now? We do. And so what are we gonna do with the old ones? Keep them too for backups or what? Yeah, the, back, the, the ones that we have now will go to our reserve apparatus. Um, those pieces of apparatus go into service whenever there's a, um, a large um, emergency fire, um, those be put in place in that way those cameras are already there. So my question is, let's say, let's use Ward 2 or Ward 6, for an example, where you have fire stations of both corners of, you don't give them any cameras at all? Uh, they have to go to the main office to get the cameras if they need them? Uh, no, the outside stations do have thermal imaging cameras. Oh, they do? All the front pieces do, yes. Okay, yep. all right then. All yeah, right. So the, these new cameras will replace the ones that we have now. The ones that we have now will go to our reserve apparatus. Okay. So when that apparatus becomes in service, um, just say if we have a, a huge fire, um, those trucks will already have those cameras in place. Okay, I, I make a motion we accept. Second. I have a motion and second. If there is no objection, we'll take this by unanimous consent. Seeing no objection, it is recommended for adoption. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up we have 21121 that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the U.S. Department of Justice Office of Community Oriented Policing Services uh, COPS Hiring Program Grant in the approximate amount of $250,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to hire two additional police officers whose focus is on community policing and crisis intervention. Chief Martineau. Good evening, Councillors. Um, th this is a grant that I approached the mayor with about six months ago and, and seeked his approval to apply for this grant. Um, for the councillors that have seen this before um, in this body, this is an extremely competitive grant. This past year across the nation, there was only 500 applications for this competitive grant and 30% of them were awarded. Uh, more importantly, only three departments in the state of Massachusetts were awarded the COPS hiring grant. You know, um, back in 2007, the police department saw significant cuts in our manpower. We went from roughly 94 police officers down to the current staffing level of 81. And uh, based on uh, what we have right now, we're down 10 police officers. So we're constantly looking for avenues to increase our strength and slowly get back to where we were prior to 2007. Um, these grants do just that. Basically, the federal government will be supplying the city of Fitchburg over a quarter of a million dollars over the next three years to fund these two positions. Um, and we were extremely excited to receive this grant. Uh, these positions are gonna be very specific on their duties and assignments. As we stated in my application, it's gonna be towards community policing, but more important towards crisis intervention. These two police officers are gonna have the higher level training of crisis intervention, and the duties are gonna reflect that. So we were very excited, and I give credit to Christy Fisher once again for submitting an outstanding application, and uh, we look forward to your approval this evening. I'd be happy to take any questions you may have. Councilor Walsh. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I, I just want to, again, uh, commend not only Christy Fisher, but, but your department. Um, this is a, a huge amount of money, and it's going to fund two police officers who are going to provide incredible service for, for the city and, and important service for our city. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Motion to approve. Oh, sorry. Council Bushman. Chief. Yes, sir. Every time that you came in front of this council or the mayor, if I believe since I've been on the council, we have added police officers when you asked them if we had the available funds. I called you up today and I asked you specifically about this. Mm -hmm. The only problem I have with this grant is that it ties our hands. And what I mean by that is if there's a layoff and we have to make cuts throughout the departments, like the fire department, we couldn't touch them. We had to keep them there, and there was one department that got hit more than the others, and that was the DPW, if you recall, 
there were five or four to six people they got let go at the DPW. So we couldn't touch the firemen because according to the grant, if we did, we would have to pay the money back. Mm -hmm. So we had to keep their staffing level at 78, I think it was 78 if I'm not mistaken. I think it was 78 or 81, I'm not mistaken. And that's the only thing I don't like about this grant, that you guys tie our hands. So if there's a layoff, God forbid, and we have to make cutbacks, we can't touch certain departments when we take these kind of grants. And I told you when I first came on in 2014 that I would, be, and I have backed, every time that you guys came in front of us to add more p patrolmen, I have supported you 100%. But on this particular one, I'm unsure if I am or not, because I don't like to have our hands tied. I don't think it's fair to the other departments. That's the reason why. We can, I can use the money, I love the money. I just don't like the hands being tied. That's, that's it, Council. It's, it's, and you know what? You were here, both of us, all of us were here when they made the cutbacks, I, and we couldn't touch one department. May I respond? Go right ahead. Thank you. Um, I appreciate your uh, position, Councilor Boschman, uh, but I, I got to give you a little bit of facts of how we got here. Um, even before I submit this application, I need mayoral approval. I cannot just haphazardly submit this application. And to get mayoral approval, I have to sit down with Mr. Brooks and the finance team to look at projections in the city of Fitchburg for the next three years. We're not gonna haphazardly apply for a grant that we can't pay for in the next three years. So we go to the subject matter experts like Mr. Brooks and we look at the finances and we make projections just like we do each and every year when we do our budget. So we put these projections together. I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't looking for grants to bring in a quarter of a million dollars to save on funding opportunities. So we did do our due diligence. We looked at projections for the next three years. We anticipate no issue in funding these positions for the next three years, all at the same time receiving a quarter million dollars from the federal government. But I'll give you this one last caveat because after our conversation, I did go into the weeds of the COPS hiring grant. If for some reason, something traumatic happens within your city, there is an opportunity to put in a request with the federal government for some leniency. So there is an option, there is an option out, you have to, you have to significantly tell why, but there's no guarantees, but you do have the option to ask the federal government for a little bit of forgiveness if there was a reduction in staffing. So my message to you is we did do our due diligence, I seek mayoral approval, we looked at the finances, we did projections, and in turn, we received a quarter of a million dollars from the federal government. Thank you. Mr. Chair, Thank you. Uh, go ahead. Mr. Chair, I understand what you're saying, and I did, I too, at that time when we were having layoffs, I did call Washington on this, not your particular grant, but mm -hmm. on the, the Fitchburg Fire Department. And I was told that if they wanted to, if we made the cuts, there was a good chance that we would have to refund all the money and I told Mr. Brooks, and I think Mr. Brooks had the same conversation with me. And the other thing I want to say, I did talk to the May 4, and I was very, I'm very surprised that you told me that. But I didn't do my, all my homework today, so that's my fault. I didn't talk to the mayor. But I was under the understanding that the way the mayor talked the last time when, he, when we were having downsizing, that he didn't like this kind of a grant either because it tied his hands and he only could go after one. That's the way I understood him talking. I don't want to put words into his mouth. I don't want to be fair to him. He's not here to defend himself. But I understood it that way when he talked to me. And I think if Mr. Brooks wants to, I'll go by what Mr. Brooks says. If he says we can do it, I'll do it. But I don't like the fact our hands are being tied every time one of these grants come. It's not fair to different departments when their departments get hit and other departments because they get a grant and we can't do nothing, cannot. I'm not out for layoffs. I'm totally against layoffs. Get that straight. But like everything else, everything happens. And things happen throughout the city just like they have in private industry. Things happen and they got to have layoffs. And, and it happens. It's part of our everyday lives. So if Mr. Brooks, if, if you can allow Mr. Brooks to talk about it, I'll go by what do you say? He's the auditor. If he wishes to, he's more than welcome to. I'm not trying to put you on the spot either. <laughs> it's just working out that way. I, I, I recognize that, Counselor. <laughs> uh, I, 
I, I guess I would say that the chief is correct in that we have sat down, we did talk with the mayor and, and the finance team to say, is this something we could do? And I think looking at the pandemic and so on, we have worked our way through the most difficult parts of it. Um, and I think this is something that, that we can afford to do at this point in time, uh, especially given the, the situation at the police department where they are understaffed and need to, and need to build themselves back up partly from the pandemic and partly from uh, the way our times are. So this is gonna bring your department up to 83 people, right? This will complement to us to 83. And, and I need to reiterate, in 2007, we were 93. Right. So. And if I recall right, when I came and approached you in 2014 or 15, I said, I'll meet you halfway, I'll go up to 85. Well, if, if you want to put two more, I'll be happy to take it. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thank you, you for your due motion. diligence, Council, though. Motion to and approve. Oh, sorry. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? I'll, I'll second it on based on what the, the city auditor says. Thank you. And uh, on the motion, I'd just like to note that, you know, I agree, and I think probably everyone on the council agrees, that it would be wonderful if we were able to fund all the necessities in the city out of pocket, out of municipal revenues, without taking any money that has strings attached. Um, but we're not in that position. We haven't been in that position, at least in my lifetime, and probably never will be, uh, because hardly any municipalities are in that position. Um, maybe some of the really, really wealthy small towns, I don't know, but uh, as it stands, if we want to continue bringing the city back up to where we were before we hit hard times, we need to take opportunities where we can get them. Um, and sometimes that comes with conditions we'd rather not have, but it's a series of trade-offs, and in this case, I think it's a very worthwhile trade-off. Um, so I will be in support of this. Um, and so I have a motion and second, so if there is no objection, then we will take this under unanimous consent. Seeing none, it is recommended for adoption. Thank you, Council. Thank you. Uh, next, we have 21221, an order that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection Sustainable Materials Recovery Program grant in the approximate amount of $36,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to continue to provide residents with more robust information about waste disposal and recycling, purchase additional carts for the curbside program, expand the current program, and reduce, reuse, and recycle in school cafeterias. Good, good evening again, Councillors. Um, as you stated, councilors, we did score 12 points on our solid waste program, uh, which does entitle us to $36,000, as you mentioned. Um, annually, we use these funds to uh, support our uh, re which, uh, uh, a program called Recollect. It is basically an app uh, that folks can put on their phone so they can uh, have an understanding of what the, the collection calendar is like for trash and recycling, and it also gives you disposal options uh, at the landfill. Uh, that has about an annual cost of about $8,000, um, and we feel it's a much better option um, for uh, people to use rather than sending a calendar all over the place. Uh, uh, they end up everywhere but where they're supposed to go. Um, and for those that do not have an, uh, a smartphone, you can also use Recollect and sign up uh, and receive notifications to a landline telephone. So there are plenty of options uh, for people to educate themselves about the uh, collection program. Um, and also the remainder of funds will be used to uh, continue to expand the solid waste program uh, to uh, make sure that we increase our points for future years. Sounds good to me. Councillor Boschman. <laughs> uh, my question, as a city, I know you said we get 12 points, but on the recyclable aspect of it all, I know we had, in last year, I believe, we had trouble 
and, I, and we get charged extra money for uh, waste, if I'm not mistaken, Councillor, if you recall right, because we weren't following the rules on the recycling. People were throwing plastic bags in a recycle bin. Remember that when you came in front of us? I do. Yeah, I, I believe that was a, a different issue. Uh, is it a different issue? Yeah, we, we uh, score points. Uh, let me just say that this, this, this point survey system changes annually. So some years recycling enforcement may be a, uh, a, 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 the ability to score points, but there's different versions of uh, recycle enforcement. This year is just having the program you were able to score points, so there wasn't necessarily any details about the results of, of, of the survey or the, the results of what uh, the recycling contamination level is out on the uh, streets, if, if that's what you're saying. Well, so, according to your letter that you sent to us in my package, it says that in there, contamina contamination. It's, it's, an, it's The funds are used to help enforcement to reduce uh, uh, contamination in outreach to educate folks. Right. Make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yep. All right. Motion to approve. I'll second that. I have a motion and second. Seeing no objection, we'll take this under unanimous consent and it will be recommended for adoption. Thank you, councillors. Thank you. Uh, next, we have 21321, an order that the City of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of funds from the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners grant in the amount of $50,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to purchase mobile shelving units for the youth library, self-checkout stations for the adult library, and other equipment needs. Yes, so this was a grant that was given to the Fitchburg Public Library, along with 19 other libraries in hard-hit areas due to the pandemic. So the money is opera funds that came through the Institute of Museum and Library Sciences and handled from the Mass Board of Library Commissioners. So this is, these are approved expenditures for that. Excellent. Any questions? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? I'll give you that second. Thank you. I have a motion and second. Uh, if there is no objection, we'll take this under unanimous consent. Seeing none, it is recommended for approval. And lastly, we have 21421, a petition, Jacqueline Poirier, Cemetery Superintendent, to approve the enclosed price increases as approved by the cemetery trustees at the November 18th, 2021 board meeting. I believe we have uh, Ms. Poirier on Zoom. Uh, you may address the council when you're ready. I can't tell if you're speaking already, but if so, you are muted. Ms. Poirier, do we have you here? Uh, if you are there, please click the uh, red microphone button on your screen to unmute yourself. Good All right. I'm Judy Perella. I'm the trustee chair of the public burial grounds. Uh, the petition that's before you tonight is to increase um, the pricing um, at, the, at the cemetery. We've had, as anything else that's been going on through the pandemic, a lot of the uh, materials that the cemetery department has to incur has gone up in pricing. and. Uh, uh, back about four years ago, we said we would look at our price increase every two to three years, approximately, maybe five years, to see if we needed to adjust the pricing. And that's what we've been doing. So we're just asking that you approve the price increase. Uh, it's not on all of the items, it's just a few items. I believe you might have it in your packet. And the increase is not um, totally out of 
out of um, proportion. It's just a slight increase. Thank you very much. Councilor Boschman. When was the last time you had a price increase? Wasn't it three years ago? I think it was about three or four years ago, yes, Councilor. And it hadn't been increased for like 10 years prior to that. Right. Can I ask one question, sir, if you don't mind? Go right ahead. Uh, I was reading over this on, on the, uh, you, you said you want to go up and infant dies, huh? Uh, the ones that we're increasing um, are the full internments that are on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. And the reason for that is we have to pay our cemetery crew, there's Jacqueline now, she can elaborate further, but they have to get paid overtime yeah. for coming. So we've kind of gone up a little bit on that just to deter it for one reason and then also because we have to cover the costs. Okay. So Jacqueline, if you wanna add more to that. Yes, by all means, if you have anything you'd like to add, uh, welcome and feel free to uh, say a few words Hi, if you'd like. Good evening, councilors. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what Judy said. Um, basically, um, the cemetery department has not had a increase in prices since 2018. Um, the board of trustees voted on November 18th to increase the prices. Um, to keep the residents in mind with these hard times, if uh, residents have a, a funeral Monday through Friday, um, our prices have not changed. The opening or the cost of the graves has not changed. Um, we changed the structure for uh, weekend burials. Um, I have to pay overtime for them. Um, we have a large quantity of people that are wanting um, the weekends, but that leaves my gentleman working um, six to seven days a week. And it's, it's, it's a lot on the department um, and the overtime costs. So we have uh, increase that to kind of deter the weekend burials if we can. The other price increases that we have are um, for goods and services um, that we use um, that are increased in prices. So we needed to uh, adjust our prices since 2018. Any further questions? No, makes sense to me. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and second to approve. If there is no objection, we'll take this by unanimous consent. Seeing none, it is recommended for approval. Thank, Thank you, you. councillors. Make Thank a motion, you. we adjourn. Thank you both. Thank second. You. Hmm? Make a motion, we adjourn. <laughs> I have a motion and second to adjourn. If there is no objection, and there had better not be, then <laughs> we are adjourned. <laughs>